We've only gotten one statement from Syracuse University about the latest large party. This one over the weekend involving athletes, none wearing masks. School AD John Wildhack says the party was put on by student athletes and people at the party were not wearing masks. This comes as the university dashboard shows nearly 80 confirmed active cases here locally, 151 students in quarantine. News Channel Line's Callahan Marshall's live with us. She spoke with students about this today. Uh, Callahan, Friday we heard about other parties. Now this, how are students reacting to these, uh, I guess, threats to in-person learning if more COVID cases pop up? Guys, they are upset, disappointed, and concerned with the way the rest of the semester may go. So we got this email from the athletic director today, and in the email it says more than 50 people were at this party, and not one mask was seen. Wild Hack says the party happened at an off-campus apartment on Saturday night. He says Syracuse police received a noise complaint, and when they got there, discovered those at the party were maskless. This would be one of several parties reported just within the first week of the spring semester. Students on campus say they're disappointed. They wear the Syracuse uniform and they represent the school to some extent, so they should be held to a higher standard. They're impacting our ability to stay on campus and do in-person classes. And, um, I mean, online just doesn't work. It just, it's not as effective, and it's, so it's impacting our ability to get our education properly. I think that right now we're in the middle of an outbreak, and it's totally incorrect. I think that it goes against their morals because they need to train. They are part of teams. They represent the school outside Syracuse, so I think that it's incorrect. We receive this statement from Wild Hack. He's calling the behavior unacceptable and careless. Now, it's unclear which athletes were involved in this, but in that statement from Wild Hack, he does say that they are working to figure all that out. In Syracuse, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9.